Hi, I'm Jason Mears and this is Windows Server 2019 DNS and Active Directory Checkup, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So whilst I'm definitely not an Active Directory or a Windows Server expert, one of the, there are a couple of checks that I like to perform on, on servers every once in a while, and that is a quick check on Active Directory in Sites and Services. And what I would normally do is have a look at the each server in each site and specifically this NTDS settings. There should be uh, a connection here which is automatically generated from the KCC, the Knowledge Consistency Checker, which replicates information around Active Directory and a very quick way of, of, of seeing if Active Directory is working at a very basic level is to right click on each adapter and replicate now because if there's a problem it will tell you. So on each of these adapters I right click and replicate now and just make sure that there are no obvious problems. It's no replacement for a full diagnostic but I find this quite a simple way to see if Active Directory is functioning properly and replication is happening between domain controllers. I don't have a particularly advanced environment but if we did we could set up subnets that uh, mapped to individual sites. Everything in my environment is on the same site so I've not bothered with a subnet but I would do if it was across multiple locations or data centers. And there's also an option for inter-site transports as well, uh, the way that we move data around. Almost everybody is using IP or internet protocol here. Um, there's not really much need to go into there. Just generally look at that connection uh, against each NTDS setting. The next thing I'm then going to do is have a look at DNS. As DNS is a core part of Active Directory and Name Resolution. So what you'll see is we've got a couple of different things in here. Um, we're going to right click on the uh, DNS server first and look at a few key properties. So we'll have a look which IP address it's responding from. There's two there, an IP version 4 and an IP version 6. A forwarder is, is another DNS server that it asks about DNS entries and zones that it's not aware of, so non-local zones. And there's also a monitoring tab. And if you tick both of these here, it will say, ask me about a domain you're responsible for and ask me about a domain you're not responsible for. And it will test local resolution and recursive DNS resolution. And if you want, you can schedule this to happen every every hour or so if you wanted to. But it's just a quick way of checking that local and uh, recursive DNS is working properly. We've also got two zones here. This one is key to Active Directory working properly and you'll see it knows about both domain controllers. And here's the actual domain, activedirectory.local. And if we look at the properties for this, there's a few things I always just have a quick look at here. The start of authority tells you who is responsible for this record and who maintains it. Just make sure that that looks sensible. We then want to check on the name service tab that every domain controller we think should have a copy of this does have a copy of this. And it's unlikely you need to do this, but if you do need to enable a transfer of this zone between other servers, this is the tab where you would need to allow it and then specify which servers are allowed. Uh, it's also worth checking that there isn't anything in there that you're not expecting. That's quick around AD and DNS. The very last thing is just to look in Event Viewer and have a look around in here to see if there's anything obvious um, that could be going wrong. So I tend to start in the system tab and look for anything here that looks a little bit suspicious. Usually red error messages and warnings are where I would look. I don't spend a great deal of time here, just a quick look. And the same again in application. This isn't intent to, intended to be uh, exhaustive, it's just a quick look at doing a DNS and AD checkup on Windows Server 2019. Um, so thank you for your time and I hope you found that useful.